Back during the Wii U and 3DS era, Nintendo used to have this habit of packaging exclusive, one-of-a-kind amiibos with their newly released games. The reason the company did this is because since these highly desirable and valuable figures sold extremely well for the most part, they thought it would help all the games, boosting their sales. Some of these bundles involve Twilight Princess HD, Hoochie and Yoshi's Woolly World, and Chibi Robo Ziplash. Platoon was among one of these franchises to receive this special treatment. Over in the UK, a pre-order offer was held at a gaming retailer named Game. Pretty much imagine it as a UK version of a GameStop store. Anyways, you were able to pre-order a limited edition bundle of Splatoon 1 that came with the Green Inkling Squid Amiibo. Now after this point, customers who did this would have been given the item, keyword being wood. Unfortunately, the most unexpected tragedy struck, leaving everyone in a state of shock and confusion. Sometime before Splatoon 1's official release date in Europe, a delivery truck containing the numerous amounts of the special edition bundles was hijacked and then stolen. Yep, you heard that right. Someone planned on doing all of this the entire time. But why, you may be wondering. Well, remember earlier when I said Amiibos were selling better than expected? Yeah, one of the reasons that even happened is due to resellers and even worse, scalpers. So whoever did this crime was probably hoping to make a lot of money. Also, it especially didn't help that this was the only way to get the Green Inkling Squid Amiibo in these territories, making them very valuable. In other words, rare figures combined with scalpers result in a horrible and unfair situation for everyone else. Regardless, like any business in danger of losing a lot of money, an investigation was made. However, it was pretty much short-lived as the truck and everything inside of it were never found even to this day. Game ended up apologizing to all the individuals who placed the pre-order and offered to discount the standard edition game by £10. Some reports even claim you would get the Inkling Girl and Inkling Boy Amiibo. I cannot believe this event actually happened. I understand that around this time, Amiibos were in high demand, but that does not excuse these actions. Many, and I mean many fans, got screwed over because of this. Now their only way to get this particular figure is on the second hand market. Although be careful since just like the other Splatoon Amiibos, this will cost you a lot of money. What I find baffling is the truck along with the culprit were never caught. You'd think after all this time, new developments in the case would have happened. But no, that never ended up happening. Those special edition copies are out there somewhere in the world. Let's hope they eventually get found one day. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed what you saw, consider subscribing and checking out my other content. Don't forget to turn on the bell notifications to keep up to date on future videos. Anyways, this is Krill signing off.